Hey guys, this is Matt with BleepinJeep.com. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the stock shocks and install the Rough Country rear shocks. But this is just a tiny portion of a much longer video on how to install an entire Rough Country long arm lift. If you look down in the description below, you'll find links to all of the lift component how-to videos as well as the full length version. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to the Bleep and Jeep channel right here and also check out Rough Country's YouTube channel at Rough Country TV. Alright guys, the last bit is replacing the rear shocks. Now the rear shocks are pretty easy as long as the bolts don't break. And they are known to, so hopefully they won't. You're just going to get a long socket and take them off. Did it break? There's one. Alright guys, well I put one of the new shocks on and in the directions it says to clearance the bracket right here. Um, the reason being these shocks are upside down and you've got this ring right here and it's, it gets really close to the bracket. Now, I don't see that it's going to touch on this one. Maybe when the, the rubber gets older and it compresses down a little. But uh, just for fun, I'm going to go ahead and clearance that down a little bit. I don't see why you couldn't also, or uh, I don't see why you couldn't clearance the shock instead of the bracket. But either one, take your angle grinder and, you know, just clearance it a little bit. I don't think it's going to hit right there, but if the axle ever flexes or pivots, then it might make contact there. Alright, so I just chose to take a little bit off the shock, hit it with some touch-up paint, and we should be good to go. Okay, now tighten this down. You don't want it to be too tight, just bulging a little bit. Alright, now I'll just pull the top of the shock up and put it back where it goes and I've put some anti-seize on these bolts I don't know if you can see that well but I, you can actually start one and then just slide it over that'll help you out a little bit that's it guys we're done. Now all we need to do is put the wheels and tires back on and make sure we've tightened everything up. Sweet. Check it out guys. There's a lot more work to be done but we're making progress. Now remember this is just one video of many videos that we did on that entire lift. Now make sure to subscribe right here to the Bleep and Jeep channel. Also check out the website bleepandjeep.com. We've got t-shirts, we've got stickers, we've got this band-aid sticker, we've got all kinds of great how-to videos for you as well. Bleep and Jeep. Com. Also, what I want you to do is go over to Rough Country's YouTube channel at Rough Country TV. Subscribe over there, then let me know in the comments section that you have subscribed. Once you do that, Rough Country is going to give away a free $50 gift certificate, a t-shirt, and some stickers once a week. So make sure to subscribe over there to Rough Country TV. Leave your comments and questions below. I appreciate you guys watching, and we'll see you in the next video.